All right, what's going on YouTube? In this video, I'm gonna go over a few things that you can check on this John Deere 100 series lawnmower. Uh, if your lawnmower will not start, there's a few things that'd be really easy to check. You won't have to take this to your local John Deere dealer to have them look at it and pay them a couple hundred dollars. So, and a lot of these things are right in the manual. First thing, real easy, make sure if you're, Lawnmower will not start. Make sure you have your blades disengaged. Now I have a 110, so I have just this lever here. Well, some of the John Deere lawnmowers have a, there's a little knob right here that you're gonna engage and disengage your, your blades. If your blades are engaged, your lawnmower will not start. If that don't work, another thing you can check is your battery terminals. If your battery terminals are really dirty on your lawn tractor, that could be another reason maybe it will not start. And if you have a multimeter, you can check your, if your lawn tractor is starting and it's trying to start, you might just have a really bad battery. You can check this if you have a multimeter, or if you don't, just take it to a local, a lot of the places that sell batteries, or if you have a place that you can buy batteries at, they'll check it for you. Should be around 12.4, 12.6 volts. My battery's almost brand new. Another thing you can check on my 100 series lawnmower, there's a fuse right here. If this fuse is blown, your lawnmower will not start. It's a 20 amp fuse. You can buy this fuse probably anywhere. You can probably go right to Walmart and buy that fuse. Just pull that out and check it. If you pull this out, You'll be able to see, lay this down. You'll be able to see this, that little metal piece right in there will be broken. Right now mine's solid, so my fuse is good. I shouldn't have to tell you this, but make sure you have fuel in your lawnmower. If you don't have any fuel in your lawnmower, it may not start. All right, another thing you can check is for when you go to start your lawnmower, you have to have weight on your seat because there's a safety switch on this seat. You must have enough weight on this seat. When you're on your lawnmower and you go to try to start your lawnmower, you have to push in your brake and then start it up. And it, and it should fire right up. Now there's another thing that you can check. There's a, sw a, safe, or a switch down in here. You have to push this, your brake in. When that, you push that brake in, it pushes on this safety switch. So that safety switch could either be maybe unplugged or maybe the terminals are dirty. I'll show you where that safety switch is at. Right down in here, that right here, this is the safety switch I'm talking about. When I push on this pedal or on this brake pedal, see how it moves that, this metal piece back here in the back, goes ahead and pushes that button in. So make sure this is plugged in. And if it is plugged in, maybe you could unplug it and see if the terminals are real dirty. Now I try to keep my lawnmower pretty clean, so I've never had a problem with that. But I've seen a lot of the YouTube videos people are showing that that switch went bad. Just make sure that's plugged in and the terminals are clean. Another thing it says in the manual is to check your fuel filter. This right here is your fuel filter. If that's getting clogged up or if you've had your lawnmower for quite a few years and never replaced that fuel filter, which is really easy to replace, I would replace that. Another thing you can do is check your oil if your oil's real low. I'm not really sure if this has any kind of safety on it if you have low oil. Some engines I know if you have low oil, the engine will not start. If you know that answer to that, put that down in the comments. But it can't hurt to check your oil anyway. Pull that dipstick out, wipe it off. I always do that once. And then you gotta put it all the way down, back down in and turn that and take it out. Now there's, there's two holes right here. The oil should be covering both of them holes.
Another thing to check will be your spark plug. Make sure your spark plug is fully connected or the wire is fully connected to the spark plug. So you can unplug that. If this is off, your lawnmower is not going to start. So make sure that's clicked in place. If you have two cylinders, you may have two spark plugs. I'm reading in the manual too, and I think the 100 just, I have the 110. I think the 100 you can put there, you actually put the lawnmower in forward and in reverse. And if you have the lawnmower in reverse, I don't think it's gonna start. You have to have it in neutral, I'm gonna guess. Or maybe even in for, if you have it in forward and you have the clutch pushed in, it may start, but it won't start in reverse because it says that in the manual, so check that. On the bottom of your seat, there's a, a plug underneath there. If this is unplugged, this is part of the safety, your safety, another safety switch for, you have to, like, like I said in, in the beginning of the video, you have to be sitting down on this and have pressure on this seat. If that plug is not plugged in, it's not gonna start. This plug right here, make sure that's fully plugged in. Oh, here's another thing. If you do get it started and you can't move, make sure that is pushed in. That don't have nothing to do with starting it, but. Well, that's about it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below to help support my channel. God bless and have a great day. The poop's on his butt. Yep. Come on. Are you done? I'm going to start.